O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation, from age to age you are. Rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, brothers and sisters, we offer this Mass for Bob Mariati. May God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God. Dear brothers and sisters, we are in Lent, but today we are also celebrating Polycarp, Bishop and Martha, a model of faith or witness to the gospel. As today Jesus is teaching us in the Gospel how to pray and also inviting us to forgive one another. The martyrs are a model for us of forgiving others. So may we, the Holy Spirit helps us to follow that example. And before offering this Holy Eucharist to God our Father, let us open our hearts to his mercy and ask for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my words, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my thoughts, through my thoughts, through my business thoughts. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God of all creation, who were pleased to give the Bishop Saint Polycarp a place in the company of the martyrs, grant through his intercession that sharing with him in the chalice of Christ, we may rise through the Holy Spirit to eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and the snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth it shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. To God. From all their distress, God rescues the just. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. 
From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look at him, that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. From all their distress, God rescues the just. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them. From all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. From all their distress, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, when the missionaries coming from Europe and from here went to Africa to evangelize, they faced many challenges. Among those challenges is the translation of the word of God in local language. For example, in today's first reading, Jesus is comparing the word of God to snow. But when those missionaries came to Congo, there is no snow there. So how they could translate that to help the local population to understand that the word of God can be like rain or like snow. 
So they translated by saying that the word of God can be like uh, a white rain. It usually doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense for me. <laughs> so that was the word they used to talk about snow, white rain. But I understood that when I moved to Europe to see for the first time the snow, I said, oh, this is the snow. Why the white rain? <laughs> but here, dear brothers and sisters, we have snow there outside. So we can understand easily when Jesus is talking that, is saying that the word of God can be like rain or like snow. When it falls down, it impacts the word. It impacts the ground. But sometimes it can be not good. Sometimes it can have a negative impact. I usually don't like shoveling heavy snow. So if the word of God can be like that heavy, uh, heavy snow, it will be hard to shovel. But dear brothers and sisters, when Jesus is saying that, that the word of God is like snow, like rain, it always impacts the ground. So at the same time, Jesus wants us to understand he, where that word is coming from. And when we understand the origin of that word, we will see that the word of God doesn't have a negative impact like the snow sometimes. But the word of God has always a positive impact because this is the word coming from our Father. Like we heard in the gospel, when Jesus is teaching us how to pray, he's just saying by starting calling God our Father. And when we understand God as our Father with a mother heart, like saying that God is our Father, but He has a mother heart. So when we understand that, we will see that His Word is always there for, to, for guiding us in our life, guiding us to Him. And when we understand that this word is coming for our Father, we will see that God is not far away. He is with us as a Father, as someone who take care like a mother. That is who is our God. And when we have that close, familiar relationship with God, we we'll understand that we, can, we are called to follow his example, especially in forgiving others, because God forgives us. So when we see him as a father, a mother of our life, we will do the best we can to forgive others, following an example of our Father. Because as you know, for me, forgiving is a tough reality of my life. How to forgive without thinking what happened before you gave your forgiveness, his heart. But when we see our Father, God is close to us, following his example, forgiveness will become possible in our life. 
So in this Eucharist, let us pray. May the Holy Spirit help us to feel ourselves so close to God our Father. And may the same Holy Spirit help us to listen to the word of our Father. And may that word impact positively our daily lives. Dear brothers and sisters, let's now present our petition to God, our Father. For the church, that she may be rooted and built up in Christ, growing ever stronger in faith and filled with gratitude, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the empty, seductive philosophies that corrupt our world today may be revealed for what they are by those who stand up fearlessly for God and all his commandments. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Jesus may summon and call new apostles to proclaim his kingdom and grant the gift of many new religious vocations in his holy church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That power may go out from Jesus and cure all whom we bring to him in this holy Eucharist, the sick and the distressed whom we enfold in our prayer. We pray to the Lord. Lord that all those who died believing in the power of God who raised Jesus from the dead may now experience new life in company with Christ. We pray for the Lord with the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for Bob Moriarty, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Look upon your family, Lord, that through the chastening effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, may my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the holy church. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by your grace, may we be set afire with that flame of your love through which St. Polycarp overcame every bodily torment, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give others to their faith, to their endurance, you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle, the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon these people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love for your son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not descend to be nailed up for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be fled, shed on the cross, he took the chalice. Filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful, faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim, who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself, by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart together with Francis our Pope and Sean our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saint Martha, Saint Polycarp, and all the saints, and with Bob Moriarty and our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, 
who said to your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us exchange the sign of peace. of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord.
On behalf of those joining us on, by video, we pray the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us through these mysteries, Lord, that by moderating healthy desires, we may learn to love the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying God by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.